Hey everybody, day 63 of No Poker. Uh, pretty dark and gloomy day. It rained all day today here in Naperville, although we did take the kids out front. They wanted to play and jump in the puddles out front, which is pretty fun. We got them all in their raincoats. Let me take that back. We got the girls in their raincoats and they each have their own little cutesy umbrellas and then Lindsay and I each had an umbrella and then baby Harrison, we were just gonna like leave him on the front porch, but he was not having any of that. You guys remember baby Harrison from the last vlog. Um, he just went outside in his pajamas and his sister's old pink boots and the kid was just a monster outside. Uh, in the puddles, he was literally soaking wet. Jamie's completely soaking wet. He had an all out blast. And then we, we did a little uh, mid-morning uh, bath time. So it was fun, hot bath after a quick play time in the shower. So it was fun. Anyways, day 62, couple of things to go over. The horseshoe, shouldn't say the horseshoe, the Indiana Gaming Board did come out with some shocking things. They are doing, um, they are gonna open up the Indiana casinos on the Father's Day weekend. So that's kind of cool. The problem is they are not gonna allow poker. No poker. No poker, no cocktail waitresses, no valet, no coat check. Doesn't really apply for the summer, but um, a lot of those things are not out. I'm assuming they're gonna phase those things in, but when they do open the casinos to start, there will be no poker whatsoever. So the largest poker room in the Midwest, which is the Hammond Horseshoe Casino, will not be open on June 14th. So I'm assuming they're gonna probably wait another two weeks and then possibly open up, kind of roll things out. So we'll see how it goes. Uh, still no news from the Illinois Gaming Board on what they're going to do for casinos. I'm assuming, I don't know, being that phase four is 50 person gatherings, I don't know how a casino is gonna stay under a 50 person gathering. So I don't know, we'll see what happens there. Uh, CCG, we're still on the same plan according to kind of what we think is gonna happen. It's still gonna be, you know, when we hit phase four, which should be end of June, beginning of July, depending on how things are. Although the numbers are looking great. Every time I check them, um, they have been going down and, and that's what we need to see to kind of get back to some, some sort of normality. Some things that are normal that happened today, two things to go over, one, Live golf came back on and it was fantastic. They had a little match between Roy McIlroy, Dustin Johnson, Ricky Fowler, and Matt Wolf. Uh, three pretty big superstars and one big upcoming uh, star on the golf channel, and or golf in general. And uh, it was on NBC, it was really cool. The president came out and did a little live thing, which I was kind of shocked by. Um, it was at Seminole Golf Club, which has never been on TV before and it looked amazing, so that was really cool. Uh, and it was fun to see kind of golf again to hear commentary and live golf being played just live sports in general and the president did talk about um sports coming back and how important it is to people in america and just all over the world in general just for our our well-being mental health sports is good for mental health it gives you something to root for gives you something to be upset about that's not really substantial it's fun we need sports back which also means tonight is the last episodes, last two episodes of The Last Dance. So as soon as I get done with this and we upload it, my wife and I are gonna watch The Last Dance, which is gonna be pretty awesome. Um, so I'm super excited about that. I'm sure I'll have tons of stuff to talk about tomorrow uh, with a Last Dance wrap up. Um, last thing, memes. Memes have been doing great. Thank you for everyone who has sent me any memes. Thank you for, really my wife, she has sent us a ton. Some of them I can't put out because she does send me some pretty dirty memes, so. Some of those get uh, weeded out, but they're pretty good. We do have two front runners for the top memes, top performing memes of uh, the vlog or of social media. The Scotty Pippen, Scotty Pippen, Michael Jordan, where they're laughing about what, what WTF is a game seven. That is still number one at like almost 5,000 views in general. That's just kind of how they rate it on Facebook. But uh, a very close second at about 4,500 views is the which NFL team would you get rid of it to stop COVID-19 and why would it be the Packers? So that one's also a really good one. But anyways, day 63, we will see you tomorrow for day 64. Lindsay is laughing at my other podcast, which we may or may not release to the public sometime soon, but she's having fun listening to it. So if you hear any giggling, that's her. And she's certainly not laughing at my live jokes, just the recorded ones. Day 63, we'll see you tomorrow. Bye everybody.